Masvidal sent out an interesting tweet. And he said, yes, it's true. I can make 154. Hashtag the resurrection. Now, let me tell you what I think that tweet means. Okay, we had just done a talk on this right over here about Floyd Mayweather coming back and boxing. Floyd will take on anybody, right? We know that, but Floyd is very married to weight. He just is. Floyd's got a couple of rules, but one of the rules is you have to weigh 154 pounds. So I thought when Masvidal came out and said 154 pounds, I thought that he was very clearly talking about, I'll, I'll fight Floyd. I could have this all wrong. It was kind of open for interpretation, though, and I think that I'm interpreting it correctly. So let's break that down real fast. Who would you rather see Floyd box? Khabib or Masvidal? For me, it's Masvidal. Just because Khabib has got a Sambo background. And Khabib is very grappling heavy. And yes, Khabib's a competitor. And yes, Khabib would go out and do it. And of course, we'd want to see that. But I don't know that realistically, we could have very much faith that it's going to go very well for Khabib. With Masvidal, that's different, though. He, he's got a striking background. He's now hanging out with Roberto Duran. You think Duran's not going to go poking around on that fight? You think old man Mayweather isn't going to go poking around on, on Duran? I mean, there's just a lot of reasons why that fight works. But Masvidal did, does have a striking background. I mean, even, even those backyard fights that he was doing with Dada and Kimbo, those were stand-up fights. I think that that's the fight. I'm not sure that Masvidal's not the biggest star in the sport right now. I'm not sure he's not. There's only He's definitely top five. For sure, he is a top five draw in the entire business right now. And I really don't think a title shot is the best way to go with him. He's going to disagree with me and go, Chael, I've, I've, I've earned my due. How can you say? It's like, yes, you most certainly have earned your due, but you're, you're holding something here, man. You're holding something that nobody gets to hold. Diaz gets to hold it. Connor gets to hold it. But now you... And his own uh, manager, Dan Lambert, came out and said the same thing. He agreed with me. He said, you know, I don't think we got to go this title fight route. I think that we need to go the super fight route. And I agree with him. Now, a super fight, if it's Colby, if Colby beats Camaro, in many ways, that is a super fight. Oh, and by the way, it happens to be for the title as well. I'm not sure if Camaro gets over on Colby and he leaves with the championship that that's true. I'm just not sure that the biggest fight that Masvidal could get in right now would be against Usman. It seems to me he needs to play this one a little bit. It seems to me if there is going to be a Floyd sweepstakes going around, Masvidal needs to be considered. Floyd would do it. Masvidal just said he could make the weight. Guys, are you with me? Who do you want to see? Here, let, let's do this. And I'm going to look in the comment section. I want a dialogue here. I want a back and forth dialogue with you guys. If you could put anybody up against Floyd, who are the likely suspects? Of course, Connor is a likely suspect, of course, but I don't think we're going to do that. Khabib says he wants to do it. If he's coming over, I mean, it seems to check a few boxes, but does that really work? Right, the grappling heavy, the samba back, does that really work? I think the answer is Masvidal. I believe the answer for who should Floyd fight is George Masvidal. That's what I'm going to put forward. Tell me where I'm wrong. So my producer just asked me, he said, hey, you just said that Masvidal is a a top five biggest draw in the whole sport right now. Give me your other four. Well, this isn't opinion. I am sharing an opinion on Masvidal based on a projection that we will see the next time that he fights. But the other ones really are not a prediction. I mean, look, Israel Adesanya, he just did 57,000 people live in attendance. Numbers don't lie. Adesanya gets to be on that list. I think whenever you're talking about uh, heavyweights, you got to consider the heavyweight champion. It's just too respected. And many, many people wouldn't look as Stipe 
or Daniel Cormier, in fairness. They just wouldn't look at them as huge draws, but they are. The heavyweight champion of the world. These guys only fight in sold-out arenas. It's the most respected prize in all of combat sports. Numbers don't lie. I don't actually know what their numbers are, but I could tell you that they're sold out. Khabib. One thing with Khabib, guys, they built a stadium for him. Is there anything that can be bigger than that? Is there anything that proves that you are a draw? He had two presidents show up to his fight and sit in the front row. Errol Hawani says that Khabib is the most famous Muslim athlete alive. I believe that he is right. So Khabib gets to make that list. Uh, I will tell you guys who else draws that may surprise you because he's a non-champion. But Nate Diaz, anytime that he fights. Nick Diaz, anytime that he fights. And do you want to know who else draws very well? And this will be number five on my list. But Anderson Silva. And while those days might be limited at this point, my producer asked me to tell the top Vegas draws, Adesanya, George Masvidal, Nick and Nate, I'm throwing them in there, whoever the heavyweight champion is, and Anderson. Those are the five most bankable stars in the sport right now. Kill Sonnen, not a frail bone in his body, plus the skills he honed in, the cage of sports, the octagon wars, the dominant force.